Uh, I'd like to start with uh, a couple of comments, uh, if you guys will indulge me. Um, the Iowans are shocked and angry that dozens of mentally disabled men from Texas lived for years in a decrepit, unsafe bunkhouse in Adalissa. Since the 70s, Henry's Turkey Service recruited these men to live there so they could work at a meat proce processing plant. Payroll records obtained by the Des Moines Register indicate that 21 men living there when the state fire marshal closed the building collected about 44 cents per hour in wages. Henry's Turkey Service apparently took most of their other income. This included, in some cases, Social Security and government disability payments. There are a number of issues that need to be explored. One issue concerns how Iowa sets and enforces basic living and working conditions. In Postville, we've seen how able-bodied workers can be exploited. That case involved the failure to pay workers, unsafe working conditions, substandard housing, and child labor violations. In Adalissa, the workers involved were men with mental, mental and physical handicaps. Their need for basic protections was even greater, yet the system failed them as well. This story is and continues to be a black eye for Iowa. I appreciate the governor's rapid response when this case became public and the actions since, since then by the various state agencies who are involved. Their primary goal correctly has been protecting the workers involved, and I look forward to working with the task force the governor has formed and will consider any legislative solutions they feel are appropriate. Now is not the time for looking backward, though. Instead, we need to look forward. We need to prevent these sorts of situations from happening again. We need to make sure that every Iowa worker is treated with dignity and respect.